Hi, this is Edith, Educational Technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video I am going to go over actually two of the tabs just because um, send and receive is basically the same as send and receive in um, Microsoft Outlook overview. So if you haven't watched that video, please go over there and, and view it, or if you need the link, please contact me and I'll get it for you if you need to know more information. So basically send and receive all of these things, again, were discussed in a previous video through Microsoft Outlook. Um, so these are basically for email only functions. It doesn't really work with um, the calendar except for like if you accepted um, so, say you got an email with a meeting request and you accept it you can actually update through here um, you can update your folders you can send all send and receive groups show progress cancel all download preferences and work offline so your folder options again similar to um, the home tab you can create a new calendar say you have a personal calendar you want to um, create because you want to keep your personal information different from your um, your work calendar um, so you can just put ok and then um, now I should have a calendar you'll see right here um, personal so I can actually take all of this if I want um, since this is a personal um, uh, thing I can actually move it over there or copy it over there or I can um, actually right click it and um, and well I guess I can't I would just have to delete it or or I'm sorry um, yes I would have to delete it off of there <clears throat> and so uh, let's go back to folder um, but so you can create a new calendar you can copy your calendar say I want to copy all of this over to it my um, a different calendar um, perhaps I want a calendar that's you know um, you know I want all of that to go into my personal calendar everything there so I could click on that and I can just say okay now everything should oh okay it should move over if I create another calendar, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but no, you have that option to uh, change it over. I again, you still have the same as share. That's on the home tab. Um, I maybe want somebody to view my personal calendar. Um, maybe my my spouse or significant other. Um, I can do it through that way. I can also open a calendar again. It's the same principle as we talked about in the home function. A lot of these are are redundant. Um, but that's just for easy access that's really the only reason why you would have it is for easy access no other reason other than that um, and again the pro calendar permissions same thing as we talked about earlier you saw my my supervisor has access to my my folders uh, my calendar I can also change my calendar properties so um, that would be through here and um, I could also clear offline items so if there's something that I did offline that I have that available um, say I don't want this calendar anymore I can actually delete the whole calendar and say yes I go ahead and just delete it and now I no longer have that calendar it no longer shows up here as well and so that is your your folder options um, if you have any other questions comments feedback please let me know and I will be glad to get in touch with you or you can contact me it is dot warden at oit.edu um, extension 51730 and um, Skype is Edis Warden and please feel free to Skype me anytime if that's easier for you and you just want quick easy response. Thanks and have a wonderful day.